Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and today I want to talk about Dungeons and Dragons. And today's video is specifically for the Dungeon Master. This is a Dungeon Master's Guide. It's not a guide for players, so if you are a player, probably not the right video for you. I do have hundreds of videos that would be suitable for you, but if you are a Dungeon Master, this is a Dungeon Master's Guide for the Lost Mine of Fandelva. And the question we're going to answer is, how do you use milestones in the Lost Mine of Fandelva? How do you do it? And actually there are really, I would say, three milestones in the Lost Mine of Fandelva, which makes a lot of sense because you're supposed to be playing from level 1 through to level 5. So you only have five major milestones in this adventure that will grant some sort of character advancement. The very first one in terms of advancement is near the very, very beginning. It's called Part 1, Goblin Arrows. Now, Goblin Arrows actually states how the milestone works. It states on page 12 that exploring Crag Moor hideout and defeating the uh, Clark and the Crag Moor goblins will complete the first milestone. So as long as they explore Crag Moor hideout, defeat Clark and defeat the Cragmore Goblins, you have completed a milestone and you level up. Now, I know a few people are going to say, well, hang on, what about Sildar Hallwinter? Actually, if Sildar Hallwinter dies, it doesn't matter. I know that sounds terrible and cruel, but actually he is not key to leveling up. So don't worry about that particular aspect. Okay, the next one. Now, this is slightly out of order for a lot of people because you'll be thinking, I don't understand why you've used this particular order. I'm going to part three. Okay, part three is the spider's web. This is indicated on page 41. And essentially, all they have to do is discover the location of Wave Echo Cave. This completes the next major milestone. And I know what you're thinking. Well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. There's a lot of material in that particular part. And it's out of sequence, Fred. The thing is that not all of those adventures are required to to level up. You don't have to do all of them to actually progress. So don't worry about it. The, the key feature is them finding the location to Wave Echo Cave. And there's a couple of ways this can be done. Uh, they can go and ask a number of individuals within this adventure on that particular uh, chapter as it happens. The first one is they can go and ask Agatha the Banshee. Provided they haven't burnt up their, their first question with something else, they could actually say, could you please tell us where Wave Echo Cave is? Or, where is Cragmore Castle? Since they are trying to find Gundren Rockseeker, that would lead them to Cragmore Castle. Gundren Rockseeker and his map would then give them the location of uh, Wave Echo Cave. So there's another way of getting that done. They could also uh, approach... Uh, read off the droid who is in Thunder Tree, and he will give them the answer to where Wave Echo Cave is, provided they defeat the dragon. So that's a tough, tough deal to deal, um, tough, uh, tough task. That's very tricky. But if they were to ask him where is uh, Cragmore Castle, then he's probably more than likely going to give them the answer they want without having to worry about the dragon, but they might have to deal with the dragon cultists. That's the only sort of drawback with that particular uh, avenue for that particular part of the, uh, the adventure. Or, if they wanted to, they could go and negotiate with Harman Kost, and Harman Kost can give them the information they want. Uh, there will be some bargaining. Uh, they need to have a bargaining chip to work with Harman Kost, but that's all fine too. Or, if they want to make it real simple for themselves, they can simply, if they have uh, a clue as to where Cragmore Castle is from their advent adventures with the Cragmore hideout, they might know where to go to get to Cragmore Castle, therefore discover and recover Gundren Rockseeker. Now, even if Gundren Rockseeker dies, it doesn't matter as long as they can recover a map or information about where Wave Echo Cave is. That's the key to that particular part of the adventure. Once they have completed one of those things in any order like that, it doesn't really matter. There's multiple ways of doing it. They level up. Okay, now we're slightly out of sequence, I do know. What about Fandolin? That's part two. Fandolin. It actually mentions on page 26 
that the next major milestone is achieved when they, one, they have to deal with the red brands, that is the red brand ruffians. Once they sort them out, it's all good, right? It's all good. They also have to deal with the leader, Glass Staff. He needs to be brought to justice. The red brands might ne not necessarily need to be killed, but they do need to be brought to justice. And the party at this point should also know that the black spider is searching for Wave Echo Cave. That will complete those three aspects. So there's three things they have to do to be able to progress and level up. Here is the thing that I know a few people will be saying, I don't understand what's going on here. You've put it out of sequence. Part two and part three can be done in any order. It is preferable that you were to do the adventure in the order of part one, part two, part three, part four in terms of difficulty. But you can do part two and part three out of order. You don't have to do it in a particular order. There's no set order for that. So don't worry about that particular aspect of the adventure. Okay, last part. That is part four. What are we doing here with part four? Well, that as it happens, um, the only thing they need to worry about with Wave Echo Cave, which is part four, is the party facing the adventurer's mastermind, the main villain. Once the Black Spider has been defeated and the Lost Mine reclaimed from the Black Spider's henchmen or women and from the undead and from Mormisk, then they have completed the last of the major milestones that are required to finish this adventure. yee at this point, the player's character should be finishing at about level 5, and you're all done. So it's actually pretty simple. It's not as hard or difficult as you might think. Now, let's cover some of the aspects that people might be getting confused by, and that is, although there are small adventures and quests and monsters and a dragon that they, they could deal with those, they are not required to be completed to result in a milestone being achieved by a player's character. They are there to do if you feel like. They will help you move the story on in some cases, but not always. So therefore, you don't need to worry about that sort of thing. Now, if you have any questions at all about how to level up and use milestones in the Lost Mine of Fandelva, please present your questions and your feedback. If you've done it before, let me know right now. Use the comment section. If you want to see more videos like this, I have a huge uh, playlist on the Lost Mine of Fandelva, which I'm sure you will find useful in some way. I have many other videos that you can go and watch too that have to do with player and Dungeon Master advice, particularly for people who are starting out and also for experienced Dungeon Masters and players. Now, please share, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell button to be notified when I go live and when I publish new videos. And if you're really lucky, YouTube might actually send you a notification. Ha ha. And, and hey, till next time, keep rolling those 20s.